Huge crane vessels that can lift heavy loads of more than 20,000 tons and are used for the dismantling of structures or for the construction of offshore facilities. These are the 10 biggest crane ships in the world. Number 10. Rambiz It sails under the Belgian flag and was built in the Netherlands in 1976. She is a double crane ship belonging to the Belgian company Skaldis. She is equipped with two large cranes that allow her to lift structures that could only be lifted with two separate ships. She measures 85 meters long by 44 meters wide and has a draft of 3 meters. She has a displacement of 15,000 tons and is equipped with four engines with 4,000 horsepower in total. The two cranes of it have a total lifting capacity of 3,300 tons and a maximum lifting height of 78 meters high. Number 9. VB-1000 It sails under the American flag and was built in the United States in 2010. She is a double gantry crane ship belonging to the Versabar company. She was designed to remove debris from drilling rigs. She is also used for the installation or dismantling of large structures. It measures 85 meters long by 96 meters wide and has a draft of 6 meters. She has a displacement of 12,000 tons and is equipped with 8 engines with 8,000 horsepower in total. It has a lifting capacity of 7,500 tons and can lift loads from a depth of 110 meters. Number 8. Zvanen It sails under the Bahamas flag and was built in Spain in 1991. She is a catamaran-type crane vessel that is operated by the Dutch company Van Oord. It is used for large bridge construction projects and offshore infrastructure foundations. She measures 102 meters long by 72 meters wide and has a draft of 4 meters. She has a gross tonnage of 14,200 tons and is equipped with two engines with 13,500 horsepower. Its crane has a maximum lifting capacity of 8,000 tons and a lifting height of up to 69 meters. Number 7. Asian Hercules III It sails under the flag of Singapore and was built in China in 2015. She is a fixed crane monohull vessel that is operated by the Asian Lift Company. It is used for the lifting or construction of large offshore structures. She measures 106 meters long by 52 meters wide and has a draft of 10 meters. She has a displacement of 26,400 tons and is equipped with four engines with 23,400 horsepower. She has one crane with four winches with a lifting capacity of 5,000 tons and a lifting height of 130 meters above the deck of the ship. Number 6. Musashi It sails under the Japanese flag and was built in Japan in 1974. She is a crane vessel belonging to the company Fukata Salvage and Marine Works. She is used for the construction of large infrastructures such as bridges. She measures 107 meters long by 49 meters wide. She has a draft of 8 meters and a total height of 137 meters. She can lift loads at a maximum speed of 1.25 meters per second. She is equipped with two cranes with a total lifting capacity of 3,700 tons and a maximum lifting height of 108 meters. Number 5. Seaway Strashnov It sails under the flag of Cyprus and was built in 2011. She is a new generation crane vessel that is operated by the Dutch company Seaway. She is designed to perform offshore construction work all over the world. It can work at a depth greater than 2,000 meters and is used for the foundation or installation of large underwater structures. She measures 183 meters long by 47 meters wide and has a draft of between 8 and 13 meters. She has a displacement of 77,200 tons and is equipped with 6 engines with 36,200 horsepower. 
Her crane has a maximum lifting capacity of 14,000 tons. Number 4. Sapem 7000 It sails under the Bahamas flag and was built in Italy in 1987. She is a semi-submersible crane vessel belonging to the Italian company Sapem. She is used for the construction of oil and gas pipelines for the installation of large wind turbines. She measures 198 meters long by 87 meters wide and has a draft of between 10 and 27 meters. She has a displacement of 172,000 tons and is equipped with six engines with 93,800 horsepower in total. She has two cranes with a total lifting capacity of 14,000 tons at a height of 42 meters above the deck of the ship. Number 3. Sleipnir It sails under the flag of Panama and was built in Singapore in 2019. She is a semi-submersible crane vessel belonging to the Dutch company Hirema Marine Contractors. She is used for the installation of modules or structures in deep water. She measures 220 meters long by 102 meters wide and has a draft of between 12 and 32 meters. She has a displacement of 273,000 tons and is equipped with 12 engines with 126,000 horsepower in total. She has two cranes with a total lifting capacity of 20,000 tons. In 2019, she broke a world record by lifting a load of 15,300 tons. Number 2. Zhenhua 30 It sails under the Chinese flag and was built in Japan in 1995. She is a crane ship belonging to the Zhenhua Shipping Company. It is used for the lifting and installation of large platforms or the construction of underwater vehicles. She measures 298 meters long by 58 meters wide and has a draft of between 13 and 17 meters. She has a gross tonnage of 147,000 tons and is equipped with one engine with 25,800 horsepower. She has one crane with a lifting capacity of 12,000 tons and is the world's largest single crane self-propelled crane vessel. Number 1. Pioneering Spirit It sails under the Maltese flag and was built in South Korea in 2014. She is a catamaran crane vessel belonging to the Swiss company All Seas Group. She is designed for the installation of large oil platforms and underwater pipelines. She measures 477 meters long by 124 meters wide and has a draft of between 10 and 27 meters. She has a maximum displacement of 1 million tons and is equipped with 8 engines with 127,000 horsepower in total. Her lifting capacity is 48,000 tons and she holds the world record for the fastest and heaviest lift on the high seas. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a comment saying what topic you would like to see a new video on. If you like this channel, please subscribe and turn on all notifications so you don't miss the next video.